Hey guys, it is me Zell and we're here again with another episode of Kenobi. It's part three today. We obviously left on a cliffhanger, as most episodes do, and of Obi-Wan discovering that Vader, aka Anakin, still alive, and him and baby Leia were um, flying off to, I imagine, go back home to her parents. And uh, Reva had just impaled the Grand Inquisitor with the lightsaber. So that's where we're at. I don't feel like the Grand Inquisitor is dead. I'm hoping he's not because reasons. And I'm, uh, this is where it gets the ball rolling a little bit more with, I'm curious how you and Wistray Obi-Wan dealing with this new discovery. We already saw him kind of in a shock. He's already been through a lot, so I'm excited. I'm ready for it. I hope you are too. So let's get to it. Uh, I'm still like in disbelief, like that we were getting to experience this, you know. Master Qui-Gon, please. They're toying with us until like later episodes. Are you there, Master? Oh my gosh, they're gonna show us Hayden stuff right now. Yay, Yoda. Gives me Matrix vibes. If you're not with me, then you're my enemy. Oh, he's so stressed. Help me, I was confused for a second. Oh my gosh. He's been looking for you for a long time. And now we get to see. Oh my gosh. They're full on showing us Mustafar in his castle. Oh my gosh. Where is he? He will pay for the Grand Inquisitor. The Grand Inquisitor means nothing. Kenobi is all that matters now. I have been watching you, third sister. Prove yourself, and the position of Grand Inquisitor is yours. He's sounding great. So she's blaming the Grand Inquisitor's death on Obi-Wan, but he doesn't even care. So is Hayden in that suit, then? The Force. What does it feel like? You should know. Mm. It's Have hard. you ever been afraid of the dark? How does it feel when you turn on the light? I feel safe. Yes, it feels like that. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at them friends. Hmm. So, what planet are they on now? Well, I guess so. This is one way to get him off planet. That's a cool ship. Have we seen that before? That looks familiar. All the. Okay. That's supposed to be an R four R two unit. Our new friend was telling the truth. Why would he lie? People are not all good, Leia. Mm. And then the Empire came in and ravaged it all. Have they been here before in the Clone Wars? But the Empire was supposed to be helping us. Mm. You sensing something? Oh, oh. It's not. Oh, we get to see Hayden, though. This feels so unreal. She's there grounding him. What kind of base is that? Oh, the Inquisitor base? Wait, I will say from the trailer, there's no way the Grand Inquisitor is dead because we saw him at another location, right? Whoa. Whoa. What is that, a giant metal detector? You are not in charge here. That seat is mine. Oh, snap. And yours. I am the next in line. Is he second brother? No, it's fifth brother? 
He asked me to lead the hunt. Unless you feel I should follow your Ooh. orders instead. Send out the probes. Do it now. Is Grand Inquisitor really dead? I should, I just didn't get over it. <laughs> Maybe they're just late. Maybe it was a lie. I knew it. I never should have trusted him. We don't know. Patience. No one is coming here, Leia. Oh, Maybe they can give us a ride to the spaceport. But it's not safe. Oh, we want is so well. He's seen so much. His we'll trust has. It's a mole man. Hey there, I'm Frank. Father, aren't you going to say hello? Hello. Very lay like. We were going on a trip. Father, we've walked long enough. Thanks, Frank. My pleasure. Hop in. Oh, what a nice guy. A child's innocence. Oh. Absolutely. We love the Empire. Nice to meet like-minded folk. Nothing wrong with a little order, right? A little order. Hop in. Meet my new friends. Thanks, Freck. Aww. Freck seems like a nice guy, you know. Hopefully they don't have his face plastered everywhere. I mean... Obi's Vaughn's face is so like I mean it's a big universe, so He brought me here to see the place where he met my mother. Where she She's not with us anymore. It's a very difficult time. Are you sure he's even on this planet? They know what they're doing, Leia. You called her Leia. Oh I thought her name was Pumba. It's a nickname. That was her mother's name. I get confused. Like I said, it's not been easy. Okay. Sometimes oh. when I look at Luma, I see her mother's face. Oh. We all miss her very much. Just keep your eyes open. Oh. Of course. Just let Sam Wait check out that T16. Just like the Sam Witwer said. That's hilarious. You knew her. My real mother, didn't you? It was just a story. The whole time I've known you, you've been hiding something. Are you my real father? <laughs> oh no! I wish I could say the I rumors. was. The rumors! Oh. But no, I'm not. This Jedi were taken from our families when we were very young. I still have glimpses. You're talking risky in front of that rando Plastic guy. Tree. My mother's shawl. I remember a baby. A baby? Yes, I think I had a brother. I really don't remember him. I wish I did. Frack? Frack? Inspecting his body? His, his saber? Oh no! A couple of strays I found. Thought you might want to check them out. You little right. turd, Freck. What the Freck, Freck? All right, step out of the vehicle. Initiate protocol 23. These aren't the droids you're looking for. What's protocol 23? Feeling hot. Oh, gosh. I said raise your head. <gasps> we know how you shoot. Right. You won't putting aim it. Down. I'm putting it down. Just the horse. Let it go. Come on. Nice. Wait. So you could have gone and walked around. That you're not going to take them. Oh. Oh, Lay is already so low. Uh oh. Put your head down. A friend in the Empire? <gasps> Come on. They'll have sent a train Lord Vader. He's already been informed. He was most appreciative. 
He took credit. Ah, backstabbing you in the dark side. Why don't you go right ahead? But we both know who'll be standing by his side when this is anyone to come. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Gotta trust, trust. The Empire's been entire alert. Oh, it's everything. right. He's on our side. Designation's Net B. Hi, Net B. This is L zero LA fifty nine. Uh, he's he's just a loader. They don't allow them to communicate. Cute. But what if he has something to say? Actions speak louder than words. Cute. Aww. More droid friends. You're not the first Jedi to come through here. It all leads to Jabeen. We'll see evidence from there. Quinlan was here. <gasps> yeah, he helps now and again. Quinlan. Smuggling younglings. Come on. Let's try the next one. Ayo. Not being able to communicate is a. Uh... He's smarter than you think. <laughs> how terrifying is that? Can you teach me how to shoot? Leia. <laughs> He's like, Come and get please ready. no. She'll make a good fighter one day. Yes, I think you might be right. Cool. Uh-oh. What are you sensing? Is Vader on planet? He feels cool. He, I knew it. He can't resist. Get the F out. He is paralyzed in shock, but, oh. You're compromising everything. He will, he's so strong, he obviously senses you. Get the, People watching out their rinky dink doors like that's gonna protect them. He's trying to bait him out. I'm sweating. He said not to engage. I think he's seeing things. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. I guess it is. Oh my gosh. What have you become? I am what you made me. I am what you made me. Wow. They really are effing fighting. Don't fall for what happened. Ooh, purple. Vader's not even trying because he's like, Obi Wan, say something. Uh oh. Oh, that was definitely remembrance for her there. There was this theory that she was a youngling in the temple. He wants to burn him. Oh my gosh. That is so dark. Dude, what is she gonna do? Oh, 
Dude, she's risking a lot. Kobe, come on. Oh, Ned! Obviously, Vader could definitely, like, run through or jump or whatever, but he's part of it, I think, is the experience of fear of him coming after him and him in pain. I mean, there's just a lot of conflicting feelings in there, I'm sure. I feel like he's just still conflicted. They lost him. I'm always... I to sweep the planet. Anakin's always in there. That's... I'm one of those people. Ready to transport. We have to get him to Japan. Oh, no. Are you the one I'm supposed to meet? No. Unfortunately, they couldn't make it, but... Did not see that coming. This is definitely going in a different direction than I expected. Who is Zach Braff in this? What the heck? Okay. Anyways. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I almost have mixed feelings on this. Um, but you know, it's like a different direction than I was expecting them to go. Um, did not expect Reva to catch Leia. Like, I honestly didn't see that coming. I thought maybe she would escape and her story would go a different direction because that's terrifying. Imagine, supposing that Reva is going to bring the child to Vader or is she going to use it at her as bait again, you know, in her own personal way. I can see it doing either. I liked, obviously didn't like, but didn't expect, but I did like the take of him making him experience fire and burning like Anakin had to. So that's like personal, like he's trying to make him feel the exact pain he felt. Thought I would see... You know, he chopped his legs off too, but he burnt his arm. Vader's so powerful, you're like, you feel like he definitely could have killed him whenever he wanted to, jumped over the fire and took care of him. But I think part of it is like, there's still some confliction in there. There's still Anakin that it's like, he's brutal and cruel, but he also has his caring, sensitive side that has always been like his kryptonite in the dark side or his saving power from the light side you know what i'm saying i'm okay with this for me the way i see anakin i feel like i can see some people having confliction about this whatever but i think that's the whole thing is like even through all of his years there's still moments that anakin shines through where he's unsure he's like you know i'm sure there's the fear aspect it kind of goes both ways like the fear of being the mouse that the this cat is chasing um that he will he always will never know when he'll show up or that he'll be experiencing this pain and it'll be he'll like prolong almost like he's torturing him right but i also feel a small part of him is like oh if i delay it you know i'll have more time to interact or whatever or think over it or it still was my master my my best friend someone i went through so much and we had a lot of good times and i don't know that's that's kind of how i see it i liked them you know, the whole on the transport vessel. Gosh dang freck. Um, backstab them. Unsurprising, which that was the whole point Obi-Wan is like, you can't trust people who are part of the Empire because they're very devoted to them. And that's probably why he's all buddy buddy with them because they can count on him. And Leia actually did a better job than Obi-Wan did. But t together they made the most relatability because they've read true to them. Um, so yeah. yeah. I don't, I never wanted to set myself up for too much expectations, but I think people do about how it goes. Um, this, they know there's many different directions the story could take. And again, I think the reminder is, and I'll obviously mention this again, is that the whole point is to show Obi-Wan's growth, personal development, right? Um, and the other characters are just foils, right? And help him to give him moments to show that emotional growth right and i think we're seeing that there's a lot of we're seeing like ptsd like he was hallucinating we can't and then i wasn't even sure i'm like can we trust that that's actually vader and then he was there yeah obi-wan didn't say anything in his discussion like vader was talking but obi was just running so he's still like in shock he's exhausted yeah he's he's out of shape <laughs> 10 years of not wielding his saber or wielding the force and just being a hermit. And then he's faced with this thing that's been haunting him for 10 plus years. The weight of the whole fall of the Jedi, the fall of Anakin and all these things falling apart, I'm sure he took. And, and then initially thinking that he killed Anakin to now knowing he's 
still alive and around which which also is another thing like why maybe anakin aka vader is delaying killing obi-wan because same thing he's like you should have killed me when you had the chance like he's doing the same thing where he's like it bringing him pain and suffering but he's making drawing it out like what he did to anakin he didn't straight up just kill him and i feel like he's almost savoring it but again i feel like a little part of him is still remembering i always hold on to there's that possibility. I feel like they were kind of trying to capture that through the shots they were doing of him perhaps being, you know, thoughtful in that moment. But yeah, I think that's everything. Um, some fun, interesting moments. Um, curious, you know, we saw a little bit of a late saber fight, but again, like it was all just defensive maneuvers from Ben or Obi-Wan. Um, and Vader was like only half trying, you know? I feel like there's gonna be another lightsaber fight. There's gotta be, but that could be just it. But yeah, I did not expect Leia to get captured and now she's going to be in wh whoever's possession, either just Reva's privately to, to fit her needs or bring into Vader as like a gift. I don't know. It can go either way with her. Um, it was interesting depiction of the sabers. They felt more solid than previous where it felt more like light like pure i feel like it's just like being nitpicky but i i liked the visuals and the light effects they had on on like obi-wan in particular um even showed purple when the red and the red and the blue clashed which i almost feel like is maybe some symbolism they were doing i guess i'm imagining <laughs> i thought again she was gonna do make it back to alderaan but my original thoughts completely went out the window which is exactly what happens when you try to anticipate too soon but yeah, I guess on that, I don't have anything else to say. Um, I'm just looking forward to what's next. We have, what, three more episodes left to cover Leia eventually getting back home. Obi-Wan going back to Luke on Tatooine. You know, I imagine Reva is going to face her end in some way and mixed feelings. Overall, please, I'm really happy with the Ewan's behavior matches what I would imagine somebody experiencing all that he has 10 years not being up to snuff the same level because again he has a lot of emotional trauma trauma he's like i'm not a jedi anymore like it's i feel like he does a good job of showing the obi-wan we saw in like a new hope right kind of like still has bits of his past self but he's like no i'm ben like that that whole part of me is gone like he's just like distraught and yeah so i'll leave it at that i keep rambling but Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, I'm sure you have opinions to share in the comments below. So just be kind to one another with anything. And remember um, that we're all experiencing this. And it's it's such an exciting time to be a Star Wars fan and get to be experiencing this. Um, whether it goes a direction you anticipated or not, um, we're, selling, we're telling these stories still. And they're expanding and telling stories that... If it doesn't touch you, it touches somebody. Um, and that's what it's about, is everyone's different and some things hit closer to home than others. So thanks for watching. You wanna show support for the video, give a thumbs up. You wanna share your thoughts and be, remember you can be kind to other people's opinions. Um, share your thoughts below. And if you want to see more, subscribe certainly. That also supports me and it lets you have a reminder when videos go live since my schedule is all over the place, so thanks so much for being here, and I'll see you on the next one.